Assalamualaikum, my dear students. Welcome back to my class. This is Saira Wasif from Moolite International Publishers. I hope you all are fine and enjoying our digital lectures. Grade four students, kindly open your English textbook developed by Moolite Publishers. Unit number six, the ship of the desert. Let's move towards the writing competency of this unit. Our writing topic is write a paragraph on the blessing of Allah the Almighty. So you can see that they have given you a sample for writing the paragraph. First of all, you are going to write topic sentence, then supporting details, and the last one sentence will be concluding sentence. Let's start writing. Yes, students, let's think about the blessing of Allah the Almighty. And we can write the blessings of Allah the Almighty are uncountable. Now write details. The details which is going to justify our topic sentence. Allah the Almighty has given us loving and caring family. He has given us fertile land to grow fruits and vegetables. The trees and plants are also the blessing of Allah the Almighty as they give us shade and oxygen. Because of his blessing, we are able to think and to differentiate between right and wrong. These are the supporting details. Let's move towards our concluding sentence. We should be thankful to Allah the Almighty for all the blessing He has bestowed to us. I hope students that you have completed your paragraph about the blessing of Allah the Almighty by following a proper pattern. Now it's time to be creative. We'll be watching on the pictures by creating our own story. Let's start doing it. Look at the first picture. You can see that there are two gods. Our first two to three lines should be about the setting of the story means about the characters and the place means you have to write the time place and the characters let's start writing our concluding sentence by creating the setting of the story let's start once upon a time there lived two silly gods in a small village there was a small stream near the village you can see that there is a stream and you can also see that there is a wooden bridge over the stream there was a wooden bridge and it was quite narrow we have almost created a story by watching the first picture now it's time to move towards the second picture and write supporting details one day a silly god wanted to cross the stream from one side and the other god wanted to cross it from the other side they both met in the middle of the bridge look they both are in the middle of the bridge i'll go first said one of them no, I am stronger. I'll cross first, said the other one. No chance. Instead of giving way to one another, they began to fight. It was a terrible fight. And yes, students, we have created more story by looking at the picture. Now it's time to move towards the third picture. One god pushed the other one into the stream. She too fell into the fast running water. Both the goats were drowned. And what is the moral? Do not fight on pity things. Yes, students, we have created a wonderful story by looking on the pictures. Just have a look on the story. Once upon a time, there lived two silly gods in a small village. There was a small stream near the village. Over the stream, there was a wooden bridge. It was quite narrow. One silly god wanted to cross the stream from one side. The other god wanted to cross it from the other side. They both met in the middle of the bridge. I'll go first, said one of them. No, I am stronger, I will cross first, said the other one. Instead of giving way to each other, they began to fight. It was a terrible fight. One god pushed the other one into the stream. She too fell into the fast running water. Both the goats were drowned. And the moral is, do not fight over petty things. I hope students that you have learned how you can be creative by looking on the pictures. And I hope that you have enjoyed while creating this story. Now it's time to say Allah Hafiz to all of you. I will meet you in my next video with more information about another topic. Till then, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.